What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Cut of Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. And this is a serious question I have for you guys. Tyson Fury stated, because you know the rumors that Mark Breland was getting sacked right after, immediately after uh, Wilder took his first L. Okay? And it was one of those things where when everyone found out about it, people were pissed. People were upset because they were like, what you doing that for? I was one of them. Why are you firing him? Right? But the rumor was out. And it was only a rumor because it was confirmed that they weren't going to fire him. We know that. We're up to date with that. Right? Now, Tyson Fury said that, hey, if Deontay Wilder won't use Mark Breland, I will hire Mark Breland. You know? And it's so funny that, if you notice, Tyson Fury said that. Then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, no, we ain't going to fire him. Shelly Finkel confirmed it. No, we're not, no one's getting rid of anyone. You know what I mean? But it's so funny that that happened after the response of Tyson Fury saying that he would hire him. Now, okay, yeah, we'll fire him <laughs> or whatnot. Where he's fired. So the question is, Tyson Fury promised Mark Breland a job. The question is, will he keep his word? The other question is, will Mark Breland accept it? Hmm. Because if he accepts it, it's like all that shit that, <laughs> that these channels, you know, that these various channels that said and, and, and rumored, you know, will make it so believable at this point. You will hear a snowball of shit that will come from these channels. And I can see it happen because then it will seem like Mark Breland was the snake in the camp. Mark Breland was the, was a, was a, a, a agent. He was a spy for team fury. You know, um, a lot of those things will happen. However, if I'm Tyson fury, that would be the first thing I would do. I would hire Mark Breland in a millisecond. Why it, because it shows that, for one, Mark Breland's been around, that and he knows everything uh, Fury and Wilder has worked on, which, you know, I guess whatever he shows us is not really necessarily what they've worked on, okay? Because what he reflects in the ring is something that he has been fixated on doing is knocking you out, not setting up knockouts, not setting up traps, those type of things. He hasn't done those. You know, but Mark Breland knows all these things. So if I'm Tyson Fury, I would take that as a very mental advantage because to have someone across the ring, you know, that I know that infuriates Wilder if he saw or if he found out Mark Breland would do that. And one thing I notice about Wilder, Wilder really doesn't fight very angry. Like he doesn't fight well, very angry. When he's calm, more collective, he's more focused. But when he's angry, he can't, I don't think he can concentrate the way he's supposed to. Let me give you an example. Fury versus, or Wilder versus Fury 1. See, he was pissed off. To this day and all that shit, that was a rant. That was an out, out that, that was an outburst. That wasn't something that he was just speaking like a Muhammad Ali speech. Hell no, he was mad. And it showed and it reflected in the ring. So Tyson Fury doing that, absolutely. I think that Tyson Fury... Hiring Mark Breland would be a clever idea. Will it be kind of shitty? Yeah, but it would not not in regards to Tyson. It's smart. He'll get to know what the hell his weaknesses is, things that he probably never knew about Wilder that he could fixate on, right? That he could exploit. And then him plus on top of that, he said it. Now I know Tyson Fury, as we all know, he'll say one thing one day and then do something totally different tomorrow. But you know, that's a bold statement that he did make by saying that he would hire Mark Breland. You know, but I think that's up to Mark Breland if he just, of course it is, uh, that he takes it or not. But will he hire Mark Breland? You know, um, Mark Breland has ties to Crunk Jim. Javon Sugar Hill is the nephew of the uh, legendary trainer, Manuel Stewart. So maybe, maybe so. Um, but I think it would be in Tyson Fury's best interest to do exactly that, just to have him on the team. You know, Manny Pacquiao, um, they had Alex Ariza at one, 
before firing him. Then Alex Ariza went to Team Rios, and Brandon Rios ended up fighting Manny Pacquiao in Macau. You guys remember that. They had an altercation. Yeah, you know, it could lead to that type of stuff. And when it leads to that type of stuff, you know, you can definitely see the animosity build up. But like I said, I don't think Wilder fights good mad. Not saying you want to piss him off. <laughs> but I don't think he fights good mad. And I think that would be another tactic, a uh, mental gain for Tyson Fury. Because Tyson Fury is good at these mental games. Mind games. Okay. This is a mind, that would be a mind screw for Tyson Fury to Deontay Wilder if he did something like that. Now that they let Mark Breland go for, you know, reasons of, you know, whatever. But he's a free agent now. He can do whatever he really wants to do. You know, so if he chose to, he could he could take Tyson Fury up on that offer. And you know Tyson Fury, come on, Mark. I like Mark Breland. You saved Deontay's life. You're going to get me another paycheck. I almost killed the boy. <laughs> Come on, you can stay with, you can sleep with Javon at my house, in me house. <laughs> I can see that. But it's a very good question. You guys answer that for me in the comments below. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.